Okay, so in this video, we are going to concentrate on uh, integration. <clears throat> and we've got this type of integration where you've got 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. And that's going to give you the tan inverse of x plus c. Now, if we reverse this, how we're going to do is, okay, so basically, if you have something like, let's say, um, um, <clears throat> y, is equal to tan inverse of x and if I tell you to differentiate this okay so we can differentiate y implicitly but before we do that we can transfer the tan inverse on the other side so that becomes then the tan of y is equal to x and if we were to differentiate this we're going to say dx tan ddx tan y and ddx x so if you differentiate tan y you should know that this is going to come down to sec square y and of course, you're just going to have to differentiate it implicitly. So you've got the dy by dx there, and that's going to be equal to differentiating x, you get 1. So basically, we're saying that uh, the dy by dx is going to equal to 1 over sec square y. And what do we know about sec square y? So we know that sec square y is equal to basically 1 plus tan square y. And we also know that tan y is equal to x okay so we also know that tan y is equal to x so therefore the tan square of y is going to be equal to x square so wouldn't that be then sec square y is equal to 1 plus x square basically so this sec square y can be substituted for 1 over um, 1 plus uh, x square and as you can see We've reached the result of this, that's the reverse of differentiation. So this is exactly the same as that. Therefore, if we were to integrate this, we know that uh, <clears throat> the integral of dy by dx is basically uh, equal to the fraction y. So what we're saying is that the integral of this, then the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, and that's going to be equal to tan inverse of x plus c. It's a very important result because why we can also um, this could be expanded to let's say you've got something like the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared. Now that can get a little bit complicated but then again um, this is the way we do it all right so this is uh, dx and of course you're going to get 1 over a <coughs> the tan inverse of x over a plus c. So I'm just going to bracket this. Now, let's take a couple of examples here. So if you were to integrate, let's say example one, and I want to integrate, say, um, one over x squared plus 25 dx. Now, we know immediately that um, over here, there was um, one over uh, one plus x squared, or x squared plus one, and we have this result here. So this looks uh, basically like the tan, uh, the identities for tan. So um, <clears throat> your result's going to come as, um, you're going to take the square root of 25. So basically if you look at this result here, 1 over x squared plus a squared. So we could say this, is, this integral is like 1 over x squared plus 5 squared and dx. Because we've got 1 over a, which is 1 over the square root of a squared, so we're going to do it like 1 over the square root of 5 to the square. So basically, uh, 1 over the square root of 25 is going to come as 5. And so you've got the tan inverse of x, and here you've got x. I mean, the square root of x squared is x. So we're going to take x over a, which is um, here. So x over a, so x over 5. So that's our result, let's see, this is how we integrate something like that. Let's move on and take a, another example. Say for instance now, uh, this was example 1, and I want to go to example 2, and we were to, in, now we have to integrate something like, let's say, 2x squared plus 3dx. Now how do we do this? The problem with this question is, there's a 2 here. And we have to leave x squared alone without any coefficient, like here. 
1 over x squared plus a squared. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the 2 and put it outside. So if I do that, this can be put outside the integral sign because it's a constant. So And then inside I'm going to be left with 1 over x squared. And plus, of course now this is 3, and if I move the 2 outside I'm going to get 3 over 2 on this side because 3 over 2 times 2 is going to give you back 3. So dx. Now this is looking much more like this one now. All right, so basically we did say that uh, for this result here, <clears throat> we're going to take the square root of um, C, the square root of A, um, I, mean the, I mean the square root of A square, and we got 3 over 2, so we're going to take the square root of 3 over 2. So that's going to be, you've got uh, your half here, and so you take now the square root of 3 over 2. And of course now you're going to get the tan inverse. Okay, now this is x over 5, which is basically x over a. So I'm going to say then this is going to be x over a, and a is um, 3 over 2. The square root of 3 over 2 is our a, so square root of 3 over 2. dx. Uh, so this, uh, then of course you add your constant c. So this we're going to have to work with this now. And so by what we have is then 1 over 2, all right, so the square root of um, um, 2 over 3, all right, so because we did say that should then be equal to 1 over a, sorry about that, so that should have been then 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. And if you were to take 1 over the square root of 3 over 2, it's the same as the square root of um, 1 divided by 3 over 2. So I forgot that 1 there because you've got 1 over 5, 1 over a. So 1 over a here is the square root of 3 over 2. All right, so basically this is how it's going to work out. So tan inverse of, then you've got, um, this is basically like 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. So 1 divided by square root of 3 over 2 is going to give you the square root of 2 over 3. Because 1 over I mean, 1 divided by 3 over 2 is the same as 1 multiplied by 2 over 3, and that becomes 2 over 3. So basically, that's why I say this is the square root of 2 over 3, and plus the c, and of course, we're going to have to work with this now. So this is half. Work this one out. Square root of 1 over 3 over 2 is again the square root of 2 over 3. And the square root of 2 over 3, and then you've got your tan, tan inverse of the square root of 2 over 3, now, of course, the x is there. We shouldn't forget the x. All right, so 2 over 3 and then times x plus c. So that's how we come about to get this uh, integral for this type, for this one. All right, so that's the second example here. Okay, so I guess that uh, this is going to make sense to you. And take care.